G'day guys, welcome. So, Battleground Targets add-on uh, that you see on my screen now, it's working for Legion 7.3.5 and so on. Um, I'm going to show you a uh, run, run through, so like downloading it, extracting it, changing some uh, files inside the actual add-on to make it work for Legion and so on. And, um, and then what, we'll come back to WoW and I'll show you a, a brief rundown of the actual add-on, how to use it, what you can do with it. Anyway, this is just, uh, I'm on Legion right now, showing you that it's actually working and you know it's, it's all ready to go. We'll log out now and I will just um, show you the add-on on my add-ons folder and then um, we'll delete it from my add-ons folder on my computer and we'll re-download it and then we will run through the steps from start to finish. You can skip some if you would like. It's up to you, your choice. I'm just trying to cover all bases. So Battleground Targets, it's working. Always check load of out-of-date add-ons. Anyway, we will exit now and we will go back to my, um, uh, what you might call it, desktop and we will get rid of it. Just bear with me as I open it up. There we go. Programs, World of Warcraft, Interface, Add-ons, Battleground Targets, right click, delete, and she's gone. Now we're going to go to the browser. So everything's going to be in the description below in order. So first tab is going to be the download file. You want to click on the little green button, download it, Battleground Targets Legion. Download, give it a moment. Alrighty, now we're going to extract it. So this is the extracting program, and then we will just instruct, extract it. Sorry, back to um, you want to extract the add-on to your interface add-ons folder where you've installed WoW, and then we'll exit that, and we'll go back to the browser. Alrighty, and then we'll go to the next tab, and then we'll go back to my um, interface add-ons folder on the actual computer where. I've just extracted the add-on, interface add-ons, battleground targets. We've just put that there right now. Alrighty, so we'll open that up, and now you want to go into this certain folder called battleground targets. It's a LUA folder. Um, there's all these other ones called battleground targets, like localized, um, .toc, welcome templates, blah blah blah. You don't want any of those. You just want the first one called Battleground Targets with nothing else. Open that up. You want to open it up with Notepad. So right click it if you need to. Open with, choose Notepad, blah, blah, blah. Um, now, this is where it's going to get a little bit tricky, but I'll try and keep it, you know, reasonable, um, uh, you know, so you can understand. So anyway, we've got Notepad up on the screen now. Now we want to go back to the browser. Alrighty. Open that up for you. There we go. We've got it on the screen. So now we're going to change line 5370. So this line here, we're going to find that on the text file in the notepad. And we're going to, we're going to change this line on the text file to here. So what we'll do, a, way, a little way that uh, helped me out to find this. Um, so just go copy this right IG quest list close you want to copy that text so control C all right because we're gonna find this text line in the notepad so copy that that bit there open the notepad now you want to go edit find control V to post like to copy that into there click find next and it will take us to that line there we go. Now that is actually um, line 5370, all right? Like it says on the browser there. That's what line we have just found on this notepad. So now, this is the line we're changing. So we'll go back to the notepad. I mean, sorry, back to the browser. All right, so we've just found that on the notepad. Now we're going to change it to this. So we're going to go Control C to copy that. Now we're going to go back to the notepad. Sorry if it's getting confusing, 
but all we're doing is literally changing this text line in the notepad to the one that we've just copied. Now control V to paste the new text file line and we'll go file save. Now what we've done so far, all we've done is find this in the notepad and we've changed that text line to that one. That's all we've done. Alrighty, now we've got to go exactly 23 lines down. So we're going to change line 5393, which is only 20 lines down from the one we just changed. So if you go back to the notepad, righty, we're back to the notepad now, and that's the line we just changed. So you can count down 23 if you want, but if you just scroll down, it's like literally right there. This is the line we're going to change next. So we'll go back to the browser. You, know, you can pause this movie, uh, sorry, video, wherever you want if you get stuck. Um, so we're back at the browser. Now this is the second line we're going to change. So we're going to change this line. We're going to change it to this one. So we want to go Control C to copy that new text. We'll go back to the notepad. So this is the text we're going to change now. We've just done this one up the top. We just did that before, right? So now we're going to do this one just below it. Control V to paste the new text. So file, save. Now we've changed that one and we've changed that one. Now save, go file, save. Now you'll be able to exit. Exit the notepad. Sorry, I don't know if I had that up on the screen. I'm pretty sure I did. Um, now just exit the notepad. We don't need that anymore. Now we're going to go back to the um, add-ons folder where it's installed on my computer. And we'll go back, 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 and then we'll just exit. So we've, we've fully done the um, add-on. We've gone into the add-ons folder, into the add-on itself, opened up the notepad, changed the two text lines that we sh I've just shown you on line 5370, and also changed the second line 5393. We've done those. Now you can actually go and open up World of Warcraft and test the add-on itself, which we'll, I'll do right now. So we'll open up WoW. Bear with me while it opens. It should pop up any second. There we go. Now we will just go back onto my character. We'll just check if the add-on's actually in the add-ons folder. There it is, Battleground Targets. Now always check load out of date add-ons because it is actually out of date. It's just been fixed, so it can work in Legion 7.3.5. So load out of date add-ons, okay, login. Alrighty, we are in game. For some reason, I'm at my garrison, but that's pretty cool. Alrighty. So now, to test the add-on itself, because by default, it doesn't actually pop up automatically unless you're in a battleground or an arena. So, to get it to see if it's working, just go enter, backslash, BGT, enter. There it is. It's working. You can click to move it by just click and move up the top here and same as the bottom. This is what the add-on actually looks like. It doesn't actually hook you up for a battleground. Better um, explanation then. We will just get rid of Strand of Ancients and uh, don't tell Blizzard. Alright, we've queued up for a BG, but this is um, the configuration panel to open it up once again. Go backslash BGT and it will open. Um, you can change the scale of it, so you can change the size if you want. You can change the width, how big you want it, and you can change the height. But we'll just keep it pretty standard. That looks pretty cool. Um, it's a bit big, but yeah, we can make it a bit smaller. There we go. That's pretty. Ch that's pretty chill. Alrighty. So going through some of the um, uh, configurations here, we have stuff like 
the roll. You can put the roll on. So obviously it's got the healers, the tank, and the DPS there. So that's pretty important. Um, specialization, it'll show their class and like their spec, like fire, you know, frost, you know, beast mastery, whatever, all right? Um, I find that's pretty handy as well. And you can have class icon as well, but I don't feel you really need that because um, by just looking at the colors of the of the nameplates here, it'll actually say like those are, those those are both mages because they're blue. The yellow is the rogue. The that brown is the druid. You get the picture. Anyway, we'll just quickly exit this. We've this we've exited the um, configurations of the add-on. We've just gone into the battleground, and it's going to pop up automatically. I'm not going to touch anything. It's just going to pop up. There it goes. It's going to load the characters in as they join the actual battleground. So as the enemy loads in, they've only got seven people at the moment. It's going to slowly load some more. There we go. So we can see here by the first guy here um, that he's a tank and he's a demon hunter. Uh, there we go, uh, they've got a healer that's just popped up now named D-Punch and he's playing on the server Gorefiend. He's a healer and he um, is a shaman because of the blue color here. Uh, they've got a priest as well and he's a healer because of the plus symbol. They have a rogue as well. They have a fire mage, they have an arcane mage. Um, they've got a waller and another demon hunter. Anyway, you get the picture. And you go backslash BGT will open up the configuration menu once again. And also, another thing I have found uh, this add on is really good for, like, you know, obviously pushing rank in battlegrounds because you can get a lot of information just from the add on alone without actually having to play the battleground. Y you get a lot of information right now, like before it starts. Uh, one thing I really, really like about this add-on is target count enemy. If you have that unchecked, it'll take the little numbers away from the side. But if you have it checked, it takes, it puts some numbers here. And we'll exit this now. And what it does is, see how they're, they're all zero at the moment? If I target this shaman, puts a one there. Alrighty, we'll just um, give you a little demonstration in this battleground. I, like I said earlier, I'm just trying to cover all all the bases here of the add-on. Um, trying to give out as much information as possible because I find this add-on is amazing and it's very, 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 very useful. So if you watch in a minute, there we go. The Warlock here, he's picked up one of the orbs and the de other Demon Hunter picked up one of the orbs. The That Warlock now has the purple orb and um, the Demon Hunter has the uh, green orb. It's got the colors there. Now look, see this monk? Three and the number three there? That means three people are watching him. If I Now four people. See, if I click on him, it should go five. Five people are targeting that monk because he they want him, they want this kid dead. Alright? So we're going to target him too and it's going to see there's still three people. Now there's two people, one person. Now that's because um, he's literally not dying. Uh, see, no one's targeting the heels at the moment. If I click on this shaman, boom, one. That little icon on the side here, that golden one, uh, is is just the person who I'm targeting. See, it's got, anyway. It shows some trinkets on the side, but that's something you don't have to show if you want. I'm just trying to die here, but they're not letting me die. Anyway, here we'll go. I'm out of combat now. Hey dude, someone's wishing me. Um, so, so yeah, target count enemy. That's that. I find that add-on at that little exit like option there is amazing to show how many people are tight. Like, say, if you want, say, hey, everybody, let's push this death knight. We want to kill this death knight. You want, you know, to make sure people are actually fo focusing it that that are in your group. Another. Can this fucking pet fuck off? What the hell? Another good um, option is 
Uh, the PvP trinket, like I just mentioned earlier, you can have that off if you want, or you can have it on. Um, you know, if you're in a one v one situation and you want to know if the target has has used their trinket or not, yeah, that'll show you that. But this is suited also for forty mans. I can't target it at the moment because of this pet is shooting me, but it's suitable for forty mans, fifty mans, ten mans, and so on. Um, but you can change change like uh, the color, you can change the size of the text bars, everything is fully customizable. So you just go have a look, play around with it. This is for, set up for enemy uh, enemy players only by default. You can have it set for friendly as well, and um, yeah, just play around with it. Anyway, going back to the fix for this add-on, I will mention that if this fix does not work. Be, feel free to comment below and I'll try help out as much as possible but if that fix doesn't uh, work this sec this next uh, uh, window tab here if you find the last two fixes don't work do this next fix 553 go to line 553 and change that one you want to change it to this one okay um, I'll put it all in the description below have a look at it if you have trouble, I'll help out as much as possible, like I said. Anyway, that is it from me. And uh, like I said, this add-on is amazing. I recommend it to everybody. And um, enjoy.